The following tools are required to perform the lamp change. A flathead screwdriver, a 5mm torque wrench, a 17mm open-ended wrench, a 17mm torque wrench and a 2.5mm Allen key. Turn off the main electrical breaker to the projector. Open the door covering the lamp house compartment. Loosen all two spring-loaded captive bolts that lock the lamp house to the projector. Hold the lamp house by top and bottom handles at the rear of the lamp house and pull the lamp house out of the projector. Caution, the lamp house is fairly heavy. Place the lamp house on a stable surface. Use a 5mm torque wrench or Allen key to remove the cathode bolt that is located at the rear of the lamp house. Ensure that all protective gear is currently being worn. This includes the lint-free protective gloves, the face shield and welder's jacket. Remove the side cover of the lamp house by loosening the retaining thumb screws and lifting the cover off of the lamp house. Next, disconnect the anode cable from the anode connector on the lamp house. Now reach into the projector and support the anode of the lamp by holding the metal anode part of the lamp. This ensures that the lamp doesn't fall out when the UV blocker mounting plate is removed. Remove the UV blocker mounting plate by loosening the four retaining thumb screws. Now pull the UV blocker mounting plate away from the lamp house. Next, pull the lamp out of the lamp house while ensuring that the lamp comes out straight and doesn't hit any part of the lamp house. Place the lamp into a protective lamp container or like in this situation in a lamp cloth and secure it. Remove the cathode adapter off of the lamp by loosening the locking screw with a 2.5mm Allen key and then by twisting the adapter counterclockwise until the adapter comes off. Replace the old lamp with the new Xenon lamp. While the new lamp is still in the protective cover Attach the cathode lamp adapter to the lamp by tightening the adapter clockwise until tension is felt. Once tension is felt, use a 2.5mm Allen key to tighten the locking screw on the adapter. Tighten to the torque specifications as listed in the manual. Remove the retaining straps from the protective cloth. Insert the lamp into the lamp house by lining up the lamp with the hole that the lamp came out of. Ensure that the anode cable is facing up. Reach through the side opening of the lamp house and support the front of the lamp with your hand while the next step is performed. Remount the UV blocker mounting plate with anode support onto the lamp house. Once the UV blocker mounting plate is on, Tighten the four retaining locking thumb screws to secure it. Keep fingerprints off of the UV blocker during this process. Now, reconnect the cathode cable to the anode connector.
Make sure that the connector nut is tightened to the torque specifications in the manual. Next, double check that the cathode connector in front of the lamp house is also tightened according to the torque specifications in the manual. This is very important as it may have come loose over time. Now remove the protective cloth from the lamp. Place the side cover back onto the lamp house and tighten the two retaining locking thumb screws to secure the side panel. Insert the cathode bolt back into the rear of the lamp house with a 5mm torque wrench and tighten to the proper torque specifications. Hold the lamp house by the rear handles and insert into the projector. Ensure the lamp house is properly seated. Tighten all two spring-loaded captive bolts that lock the lamp house to the projector. Close the lamp house compartment door. Reset the lamp type and lamp hours in the communicator software. See the communicator manual for more details.